Hi, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Orion. Today we have a special guest, Rachel Ray, who is running for president of Mercia. Hello. And today we are making mini apple pies. Mini apple pies baked in the apple. They're pretty fun. Sounds like fun. Let's get started. All right. So first you're going to need um, some apples and you're going to try and um, cut out the, the inside of it so that you have kind of a shell left over where you can put all the insides back into it. And you're going to want to try and save um, what you've cut out uh, in another bowl um, because you don't want to waste the apple. Like it would be great if you could get all of it in. Otherwise you can buy um, two extra apples and just chop them up if you want. You can try and get the core out. No um, uh, you want to leave a little bit of extra on the outside so it's able to stand up on its own uh, in the oven when it bakes and it'll make for an, a nicer shell. Obviously sometimes that doesn't happen and that's okay too. It'll be just as delicious if it's not perfect anyway. Course out. Yes, and a trick to like get them to not turn brown kind of like this, some of these pieces look really nice and the brown ones like don't look as nice. If you're really like someone who eats with their eyes, you can squeeze some uh, lemon on it and it should stop it from turning brown. Or at least slow it down a little bit. Just Yeah, just enough uh, until you get it in the oven and it starts cooking. Um, and you're going to need some other ingredients for this as well. Um, we have some sugar and cinnamon mixed together. It's about a quarter cup of sugar and a, a teaspoon of cinnamon in here. Um, and when all the apple is done, we can just throw this in here. Uh, we also need a teaspoon of brown sugar as well. I do. A bent teaspoon. You gotta make sure it's nice and dry, otherwise the brown sugar is gonna get super clumpy. It is. Alright. One teaspoon? Yes, please. And then also our cinnamon and, um, and sugar mixture. together and it's going to make like a really nice sugary happy inside for your apple. You kind of want to make sure all the apples are coated evenly so that you don't get like a bitter taste in the middle of this. And I think if you're not really satisfied with the way it's mixing, feel free to use your hands. Yeah and you can also add a little more. There's Nothing wrong with a little extra brown sugar in here. Okay. So then what we're going to start to do is we're going to scoop. Oh. <laughs> Let's use Okay. We're going to scoop the insides into the apple, the little apple outside. So they should kind of start to look like this. They're pretty cute and fun for fall. So. Like when you pick your apples, you want to make sure their bases are kind of flat so that they'll be able to stand on their own in the dish, kind of like this. That they should all be able to stand up uh, on their own. Uh, and then you have the option of doing one of two toppings. We, we are going to show you the crumble topping today, but if you don't want to do that and you're more of like a pie person, you can do a little lattice topping on top with the pre-made pie crust and it'll be just as delicious. I'm just more partial to a crumble topping. So we need a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of flour and then some butter. Grab it
I need two tablespoons of the water. mixing this as you can see it's the consistency of breadcrumbs which is why it's called the crumb topping so now we're ready to put this on top of our apples right correct so yeah we could just use our hands just like sprinkle it pretty liberally on top of yes you wouldn't want to be conservative no you would not you want to be liberal <laughs> and the more crumble topping the better it's actually going to be very delicious and when you put brown sugar in the oven it's Probably the best thing that your mouth will ever taste. So, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with a little extra crumble topping on top. And actually, these are gonna sit uh, in a water bath, kind of. We're gonna put some water uh, in the bottom so that they don't burn underneath and they don't stick to the pan. Um, it makes for better baking for the apples. And uh, just about like, like a quarter of an inch, like not even, just a little bit of water in the bottom of this pan. Um, and we have to cover it with some tin foil before we put it in. It's hot air. Okay, so we're taking out the apple pie now, and after 20 to 25 minutes at, that it's baked in the foil, you actually want to take the foil off so that the topping can be nice and crunchy and brown. So we have taken the topping off and it smells real, I mean the foil off and it smells really, really good. It smells amazing. So, prepare for apples. You want, you can do a question, okay. answer a question, and like, you know, I'm Okay. You can feel, all right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. Let's well, go. Rachel, thank you for joining us. Of course. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, now we're going to shift gears from cooking with Orion to the state of Mercia. Sure. All right. Now, why don't you go over your background a little bit for our viewers? Absolutely. So I'm from um, Rochester, New York, and I grew up in um, a very small town, kind of middle class, um, a Mercia here. And uh, I had a mom and a dad, and my dad was very, very sick growing up. Uh, he had his own business, and it actually kind of started to suffer uh, as his illness progressed. And so I did struggle a little bit growing up, and uh, so I ended up getting into Syracuse and studying political science as an undergrad, and then going on to law school here as well. And it was incredible because it gave me kind of a sense of how things were in a city environment as opposed to a small town environment, and kind of allowed me to see the world a little differently. Uh, and it was kind of one of the best opportunities that ever happened. So then I decided to run for the Senate uh, after practicing law for a few years and deciding that I wanted to continue uh, with a career in politics instead of law. And um, I ended up having uh, my daughter and I'm a single mother so it kind of gives me a little bit of a different perspective on the world here. Um, and I have won the race for Senate, and I am now a senator for New York. Okay. So that's my background. So what issue is most important to you in this campaign? So the two most important issues in my campaign are actually health care and education reform. And with the health care stemming from my father's illness growing up, I, you know, he really struggled with the insurance companies and the healthcare industry in general, and we really suffered because of it. Um, and so I find that that is like a real, it's a really important issue to me personally, and I know that I'm not the only one that suffers with it. A lot of Mercians also face the same issues that I faced growing up, and I really hope that if I'm elected to president that I'm able to 
change that for some people. Uh, and the other thing that's really important is education. Um, and children all over this country are really not getting the correct education or a good education, and they're really slipping through the cracks. And I really want to try and, f and fix that because I feel like Mercians have so much potential, and not giving them the right tools to utilize going through school is really it's it's a disservice to them. So we're going to try and you know minimize class sizes and uh, really push funding into the schools to try and make them a much better place for our children. What? I'm just very interested uh, why you put education above the economy. Well, I feel like when you fix the education system, people are going to have more of an opportunity, and these children are going to grow up. They're our future. Even though the economy is important, the, these children, they really just need these opportunities, and they need to be able to succeed in life pretty much. And if you're not giving them those tools, it doesn't really matter how the economy is because children are still going to just fall through these cracks and just, you know, the poverty level is going to be so much higher with this. So hopefully we can decrease the poverty level by, uh, you know, increasing uh, education reform and change in schools. Let's talk about this debate this week. Sure. Are you nervous? I'm a small nervous, but I'm prepared. I'm really, I feel ready for it. I know that I have some really tough competition here and some really tough, uh, you know, uh, candidates. And I just, you know, I wish them the best of luck, but I am going to be really tough to be here. So, you know, look at it. Well, I look forward to that. Let's talk a little bit about the scandal. Oh, yeah. That came out a couple weeks ago with Governor Jess. Sure. Well, I had seen it. On Twitter, actually, one of my staff members pointed it out to me that he had lied about his supporters. And I just, I couldn't really understand that because most of my campaign is kind of a grassroots campaign where I, you know, kind of, I, I reach out to the people and they become my supporters. And I don't really need to lie about people supporting me. And so I feel like that's a really big problem. And it's really hard to come back from that because once you lie, you can't really come back. You can't really fully come back. And I would never, you know, lie to the people of Mercia. So, you know, the fact that he's able to do that, even with such a minute thing, it's not, it's not really minute, actually. I, I think that's actually a really big blunder on his part. Um, uh, it, you know, it is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, when you lie, that's what happens. Exactly. Well, thank you, Rachel, very much for coming. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. This was wonderful. Yeah, and uh, we're going to finish making those wonderful apples. So excited. So All right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. This is the State of Immersia and Cooking with Orion, and we'll see you next week. So we're taking them out of the oven, and they're, they look really good, and where you can serve them with ice cream or whatever you really want. They are delicious looking though, so now we get to eat them. Yummy.